Friday, by the way, subscribe to the channel, download the podcast, subscribe to Larry's channel, subscribe to mine. We're about to review The Five Bloods. It came out this past Friday. Me and Larry saw it. Um, Larry, give your opinion first, and I'll just give one snippet of what I think. The one snippet I want to give before Larry goes in, it, it was too long. But Larry, you go first. Yeah, I didn't like it. I did not enjoy this movie. I wanted to enjoy it. I looked forward to it. I watched it as soon as it came out. In fact, I was looking for it the day before, hoping I got a little early. But I, I watched it right when it came out, and I was thoroughly disappointed. You know, what? I, what I think what I've come to the conclusion is, is that with Spike Lee, when he first came out, we didn't have a whole lot of voices on the screen. We didn't have a lot of pictures of us on the screen. And so we were happy to see us. We were happy to support him and his filmmaking journey. And he he has been a, he has been a mentor. He has been a he has paved the way for a lot of up and coming filmmakers. And a lot of those up and coming filmmakers have come up, and they are a lot better, a lot better. And as a consequence, we have seen the quality of filmmaking that black producers and directors and writers can create and produce and direct and Spike Lee stuff just isn't good enough anymore. I think that's really just what it boils down to is that he's, he's, he's stagnant. His, the way that he is, he has some stylistic choices, which I understand some people want to have their, their signature shots in there, which I understand that, but the way he used to use it used to be meaningful and impactful. Now it's just a cliche. And I just, it was way too long, like Lamont said. I mean, they could have, they could have, it was like a two hour and 35 minute movie. They could have chopped that down probably to an hour and 50 and not have lost anything. It, it was just, it, it's just, it was, it was lacking, it was lacking emotional depth. It was, it was, it was. I mean, there were some parts of it that just bothered me. Like there, we're in, like I've been to Vietnam. Vietnam has an overabundance of beautiful women. And the black dude has to has to fall in love or get not fall in love, but he has to find his interest in a French girl. I mean, all these Vietnamese, like even I mean, the fact they even had this this chick in there, this French girl. I'm thinking, why not just have a Vietnam girl? Why not just have a, a girl that was maybe that had been evacuated during the war and was repatriated back to to Vietnam and had her do it, had her as part of this organization? It just I just, I, I don't know. I mean, she came off as like real, like seriously, like the token white chick. I mean, it was, it was really sort of, that part was shameful and bothered me. It was unnecessary. And, and the whole movie, I'll so be that, honest with you, that, that whole movie was a disappointment. Yeah. I, when you've been to Vietnam and you've seen yeah. how beautiful it is, when you've been on, when you've actually gone on and floated down the Mekong Delta and you've seen the majesty of that place, and it's not captured with the cinematography, it is very, very disappointing. There was no reason for that film, to, even if the story wasn't fantastic, to not be absolutely beautiful. And it just wasn't. Mm. Yeah. So that's what I was going to say. I was going to say the other issue other than the time was the cinematography was horrible. It literally looked like this was a production done by a YouTuber. And I ain't being funny. I got, <laughs> like Larry said, mad respect for... Mad respect for Spike Lee. He's my guy. Um, but I didn't like them popping in pictures to uh, highlight parts of the story. I felt like you yeah, should have was, just done some video for nose. that part. And he, yeah, he, he does that. He does that. He does that in all his movies, and it's too on the nose. I didn't. I really didn't. I felt like the script was kind of weak. It's not only weak, but also predictable. Yeah. So those two our cast, don't get me wrong, every single person on that cast, except for two of those white people in the three in the gang of three, I didn't care for, but everybody else was fine for the cast. But the script was weak, the story was somewhat predictable, and yeah. I didn't like the overall the, the whole thing just didn't do it for me. If I was rating this movie, I'd give it a five. T strings, what did you think, and did you see it? Man, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, man. I'm gonna chalk, I'm gonna chalk it up to saying that I fell, I fell asleep. But so, I'm be, be, before I say that. <laughs> damn, damn. Before that, I, <laughs> the fact that you fell asleep. 
Well, well, I was I was going to try to say I was going to chalk it up to it being late because I think I I I started watching it like eleven o'clock or something or eleven eleven twelve o'clock, but I was already in bed snacking and I think man to like have those in and trying to try to stay up and watch it. And I think the last the the, the only part that I really remember is I guess I think they was in they was either in the in the airplane or they was in in some place they had found some some gold or something and. Um, uh and so i i really you know so I, I i didn't really see how long it was or or anything whatever they whatever it was they was getting ready to share i you know i'm opening my eyes like trying to trying to stay up and watch it because from you know just like you know uh spike lee is sort of like you know taron you know quentin tarantino when they drop movies you you know you you expect a a, a certain angle from them um uh, but I, I didn't I didn't like really like get off into it. And and again, like I say, is is probably because it was late when I tried to watch it. I'm gonna chalk it up to that and I'll I'll try to brew through it again. It's it's a few movies that that uh that I sort of and then tried to get back and watch them. And if 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 it goes that way again, then it's it's probably you know it's probably a done deal. Um, I, I would probably believe you when you say a five out of five out of five on, uh, you know, on that deal, but I don't know, man, I'll have to sit there and, and watch it when I'm like fully alert and, uh, yeah. Too, yeah. Too I, just, I watched it at nine o'clock and I had to take a, and at an hour and 35 minutes, I had to go to bed, man. And uh, watch the rest of it the next day. Right. That's not good. The, uh, movie, yeah. the movie should have only been an hour and 35 minutes, period. Yeah. Period. I was bored. I was Man. bored at one point when I hit pause. I was bored and I looked up and I was like, oh, snap. There's still an hour and 47 minutes left. I was like, there's a whole other movie left. I mean, it just, it, if this is, yep. this is one of those things. Sometimes there are good movies that are long and you know they're long. Mm -hmm. But they don't feel necessarily as long. This movie felt long. It felt long before it was even halfway over. And in some of the stuff, like Lamont said, there was so much stuff in there that was just so predictable. Like we knew, I'll tell you, part of it was predictable because a lot of the story seemed a lot like that movie uh, Triple Frontier with Ben Affleck, where they basically all yeah. went over and uh, mm -hmm. and went to go get that money from some drug mm -hmm. dealer or some, and had to go hike out of the out of the wood out right. of the mountains with it. Same thing, except they were hiking gold out of a jungle. But you know, they're like the scene with the one dude where he got blown up by the landmine. It was so cheesy. It was like he's backing up backing up it was almost like he was backing up slowly trying to get his trying to find his mark so they can so they can let up the uh the you know the uh the, the demolition but it was like it's like come on y'all i was like is that that whole scene was so utterly predictable it was just ridiculous i mean the whole mm -hmm. this whole yeah. thing with with oh he's in he's at the you know the younger the the young the son is is at the bar at the hotel he meets this girl who has a, a nonprofit that does landmine removal I'm like oh great okay so they're gonna be out in the out in the out in the bush and they're gonna end up having to run into landmines it was like it was soon as they said that it was just the whole it. thing you knew how the you whole thing was gonna play it. out it was just i tell you it really fit i hate to say this if you're listening spike i hate that you have to hear this it really just felt like lazy writing like if there there was nothing in there yep. where they were trying to they were trying to throw us any curveballs they were trying to make us think the whole thing that they do with his long on the nose preachy yeah. speeches about crispix addicts and us being the first ones that 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 died for this country and then and then throwing pictures on the screen all that's just all preachy and on the nose stop treating us like we're like we're in in, in middle school history class you know we are grown folks watching a movie challenge us a little bit you know if you can yeah. if you can yeah he's he, he may be a little I'm, bit I'm, I'm, right now yeah, he Spike Lee getting long in the two fellas. He's getting on up there, man. He's getting on up there. But ladies I, and I gentlemen, would've, I would have liked to have seen Ryan again. Coogler. I would have liked to see Ryan Coogler I or F. Like Gray see, direct this or Antoine Fuqua. What I would love to I see like one to of them see, direct it. 
or lean away. She could have done it. Hell, I mean, man, mm, 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 I would have mm. rather her maybe have but written. It. Right along I think I would have had like her have written that yeah, and then maybe yeah. passed it off to to like Antoine Fuqua or something. 